Okay, I am altering a oatmeal can today for a friend of mine who is our new Relay for Life director. And um, I want to share this technique with you that I'm doing. Um, I started with a six, 7 by 12 piece of um, manila, vanilla cardstock. And the first thing I did um, was I used this stencil by Retta. And I'll have her link below in our shop. But it's, a, um, as you can see, the ribbon. And I inked it with this close to my heart tulip ink. You could use any pink ink. Um, uh, I just used a regular makeup sponge. The next thing I did was I used Versa Magic, this um, Spring Pansy Purple. And I used it directly with this um, because they have a raised pad so I was able to get in the corners with that little tip and everything which makes it really nice this is a pigment ink um, I sponged it over top of her um, I used three of her stencils today um, it's a butterfly stencil I've cleaned it because I didn't want the ink drying on there um, and then I embossed it with this embossing tinsel okay and it's made by Ranger you can get this in our shop, shop too it's bridal called bridal um, leave it left a then I heat embossed it so it left a really nice um, raised area can you see the shiny of it um, it's really nice um, then I, I wanted the butterflies to show up better so I used my faithful water pen and some purple ink and watered it down and went inside and dabbed it off here and there because I didn't want it dark because I wanted my butterfly to show up uh, so then, I took my Ranger um, Spun Sugar, and I went around each butterfly, but I wanted them to show up even better. You see, this is how it looked, just doing that. Uh, now, this is how it looked. What I'm doing is I'm taking the Distress Marker by Tim Holtz, and this is um, Worn Lipstick, and I want to show you how you do this, okay? You want to work in small areas because if you don't, the ink will dry and then you won't get to move it as much. And you don't want to squeeze this uh, much. You, you don't want a lot of water coming out. You just want to be able to blend that around, okay? You see how that blends? And you can work real fast with this. Um, I was able to do most of this just in about five minutes. And it, you don't have to be exact because you're going to blend it out anyway. And at first, it doesn't look like much. But then, as you get them all done, and you may want certain areas thicker than others. Um, I'm going to be layering some stuff on top of this, so it's, it's not really going to matter. But for this technique, I really wanted to show the stencils and this technique of using this marker because at first when I got my markers I don't know I haven't played with them a lot but um, for this project right here this is perfect because I want to outline my butterflies and I want them to really really pop and um, since she you know my Relay for Life is coming up and she's a new director and I'm a chairperson the chair event person for our county and so we're both new this year to our positions and I wanted to just give her a special gift so I'm going to turn this you know uh, Relay has their own coin cans but I wanted her to have a great big coin can so I thought I'd use my I'd recycle that oatmeal container it's not the great big one it's the smaller one so there you go look how easy and fun that is and I'm going to come back and show you the rest of um, when I get ready to put my can together, okay? Thanks. My oatmeal can, well, almost, I will put a bottom on it. But I printed this um, saying on my printer and just fussy cut it with some scissors. I had um, two 
layers of butterflies. This is the Martha Stewart punch. I do want to show it to you because this is a beautiful butterfly punch. Um, I think it's the Monarch is what it's called, but it has a lot of detail. So this is a designer paper that I got on sale at Joann's a long time ago. It's got a little shimmer to it. So I, the bottom layer is the purple that I cut the belly band out of. So um, that really made a nice pop up. And then I had this cute digital image right here. I do not know where I got her. And if you know, please leave me a comment because I have been using her on everything. I'm in relay mode. I do relay for life. And she is adorable. I colored her with pencils, Prima, uh, Prima pencils. And then um, that's pretty much it. I, um, I use this Hope for a Cure. This is another stencil by Retta. Uh, and just on the top, this is a, a Spellbinder's die. I cut a big hole because I want dollar bills to be able to go in there. And uh, the first layer is just a red layer, uh, barn red from uh, this Distress paint right here. And I still wanted it to be a little jazzed up. I don't want too much on here because people be putting in money, I hope. So I hope you like it. I hope it, it inspires you to make your own. I love it. Have a great day. Bye.